Hello, our dear viewers, and welcome again to the Web Collection Show. As usual, we hope we can present you the best of what we can from the internet and also from the sources of good information so that we can deliver the best of what we can. As usual, I would like to welcome my colleagues here in the studio, Engineer Farah Al Ali. Farah, how are you? I'm great, and how are you doing tonight? Thank you very much. What have you got for us? I'll be discussing the latest technology with the innovative ideas all related to the gadgets for sleeping and also something you'd be able to create at home, your own car stunt. Very nice, thank you very much. It sounds very interesting. You don't have poem for tonight? Maybe, if we have time. If we have time. <laughs> Some rom romantic person in the studio. You guess who? Well, you can't tell. Anyway, let us also welcome our Colleague here in the studio, Dr. Amna al -Kud. Dr. Amna, how are you? Fine, thank you. Nice to meet you tonight. Thank you very much. What have you got for us? Tonight, I would like to show our viewers some of the important advice, especially in our summer uh, weather, and also how to organize their mind, especially during their vacations. <laughs> organize their minds? <laughs> that's a new terminology. Well, that's what we have here in the show. Please just wait to see what is organizing our minds. <laughs> Let us start our first segment of the show. That is the personality development with the biggest smile and the positive energy. Hello, our dear viewers. As usual, we start with the personality development. This is a continuation of last week's uh, presentation because this is very important. Let us see what I have on my uh, monitor. Activities for self-improvement and personal growth. You remember this uh, terminology? Well, I hope you do. Activities for self-improvement and personal uh, growth. It had long since come to my attention that people of accomplishment rarely sat back and let things happen to them. They went out and happened to, think, to things. This is Leonardo da Vinci. Do brain, do brain workouts. This is very important. The brain is a muscle which needs a stretching from time to time. Well, this is very true. If you just let your brain just becoming lazy, well, this is a little bit odd. You see intellectual games, Sudoku, for example, crosswords, etc., and puzzles ensure the workout your brain needs. Those games are very interesting, very useful for us, for everybody, for kids to work their brains out. I play Sudoku and word games, solve riddles, and put together puzzles on once you on a while, and your brain will appreciate that. Well, that is a good exercise for your brains <laughs> a travel a travel there are so many amazing places to see so many interesting people to meet and so many new experiences to have well that's very true with the travel it is very important so that you can learn a lot the concept of things will be different and you see a lot of people and different visiting different countries will help you realize how colorful diverse and interesting the world really is this is very important to widen our knowledge our understanding each trip will bring you new friends and new emotions knowledge and good memories <laughs> so there are more you see your brother will you will think or more open-minded will be you and your course become an easier you will overcome cultural differences no matter where you go and how much you stay, your trips will add a value to your brain. A create, everyone is creative. We all were born with equal amount of creativity. Look at the children and you will see later life happens and the creativity in most of us falls asleep because we don't want to be creative. We are just a stopping of thinking and we just end up with thinking, wow, I wish I could write too. I wish I could paint too. I wish I could draw also. I wish I could do the, so many things. Wishful thinking 
only. <laughs> Be careful of from the wishful thinking. You know what? Stop wishing and start acting and be a creative this is the secret word be a creative to be or not to be is to be creative <laughs> you don't need to be a falling star for that all you need is a desire wow that's an important thing and a will so there are so many things you can spend time alone <laughs> just think of yourself think about what you are doing keeping yourself busy all the time it's not good sometimes you need to sit with yourself plan your life and also ask the good people don't ask your well people who envy you know ask the people who would like to uh, raise your abilities and uh, confidence and achievements ho, 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 ho. that was for the personal development so our dear viewer let us go viewers let us go now to another segment of the show that is the technology as usual with the biggest smile and the positive energy Hello, our dear viewers. Uh, so this is the technology part of the show. Let us go straight to Farah to tell us all about the new trends in technology. Farah, the floor is yours. Yes, when it comes to technology, the best thing is that you'd be able to create it at home by yourself. So do it yourself. Technology is amazing. And tonight I'll be discussing how you'd be able to, con to have and make your own remote control stunt car at home stunt car at home yes remotely. using the things you have at home so as you can see here on the screen this is exactly what you need and how you're going to be using it so you need the pvc that's in a t shape and all you need to do is drill it in the middle a circle and after that you need three dc motors and after using that you need some double-sided tape and then you need to fix the wiring inside in order for you to actually control the motors. After doing so and making sure that it fits in correctly and the three motors are inside the mouth of the PVC, you need to now control the junction and you need to see the connection of the motors. You need to connect both of them oppositely using the positive wire and the negative wire on the other motor. After doing so, you, all you need to do is cut out the, uh, you need to draw a few circles and then you need to hot glue using hot glue to glue them all together after doing so you need to put them on top of each other you create three different ones but make sure you cover also the edges because you need it to be completely full and now you need to fix all the three different statues into the mouth of the PVC after doing so, you need to apply also hot glue on the sides of it, as you can see here on the screen, and on top of the actual carton itself in order for it to be fixed. Now, you need to mark the centers of each one and you need to drill it. As you can see, you're marking each side. And after that, you need to drill each side in order for you to create a hole all the way through for you to put the different things that you will put later on and after doing so now you could use hot glue for this one this side and then after that create the other one you did uh, before and you put it inside and using the stunt car demo you'd be able to put the straw there and now you need all you need is to fix the wheels on mm. so you you need the hot glue and you place the wheels on each side and after doing so you'd be able to adjust it the different lengths mm. in order for it to be equal you don't want it to be wobbly and not moving correctly and making sure each side is done correctly and this is how you have it now you need the circuit board after you're doing so you need the paper clips you need to open them up for you to actually create the actual mm. PVC board and Placing it together and putting them together, just cutting them and making sure that they're all aligned and 
in good like small parts for you to actually use the cells because mm. it's very small and after doing so you'll be able to put them together and uh, in this manner and once you're done with that you insert the cells of the battery so this would be able to hold your batteries inside and after putting that as you can see those are the batteries mm. once you do so you'd be able to fix it and you need another one as well that would be like the cover of the one you have already. So you need to perfect both of them together and using those clips that you'd be able to use on the PCB board. And you'd need to also put all the different paper, the wiring as well, the paper clip wiring that we just used earlier. And also you need the office clips again to perfect it correctly. And after doing so, this would be for the battery. So you'd be able to fix all the wirings together accordingly. And you'd be able to have it fixed for the PVC board. And when it's done, you'd be able to connect it, as you can see here, using the certain diagrams that you'd have to get. And making sure that it's all connected to your remote control. As you can see, this is the actual uh, circuit that you're trying to get and after doing so you'd be able to control it using the remote control by covering the other side of it so there you go you have the right side and the left side once you're actually moving them around and you've got your stunt car and you're actually doing a lot of great moves mm. simply by doing this at home and it won't take much time it's just the circuits that you're trying to perfect when it comes to the different wiring together well, this is a good idea for those people. I think I will do one of those things in my garage at home. And especially, it's really easy for kids as well. Mm. They'd be able to do it with maybe like an adult to help them out with the circuit itself. And they'd have a great summer doing that and just enjoying their time. I think so this creative. is a good learning experience. Yes, so uh, creative ideas, honestly. And then the hands-on things is very important. Circuit boards, uh, wheels, and you see there are so many things we have to do there, I think the skills. I think this is a good idea to keep, but I don't know. It needs a lot of will from our kids to do so, because well, our, otherwise they can go to the, the scientific uh, uh, center, and uh, I think they can do a lot of things, because there are some uh, classes running like this uh, for the electronic side. Mm. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Our dear viewers, let us move now to another segment of the show that is the book. Please stay tuned after the break with the biggest smile and the positive energy. Dear viewers, and welcome again to the Goodreads book segment of the show. As usual, with Dr. Amna, Dr. Amna, the floor is yours. Thank you. Thank you again for having such opportunity to share our viewers with our new book for tonight. Tonight, I would like to share one of the nice book that is called The Organized Mind. This book is actually one of the best sellers in the Sunday Times. It uh, discusses more of thinking straight in the age of information overload. It helps us to guide us and to rearrange our social life, um, our daily activities, our homes, and help us to function normally, more active, and to do what is actually we are um, tending to do where we don't have the opportunity to do so. It is well said that even the smartest mind can't beat the organized mind. <laughs> so this book, with its uh, like every page, has uh, more smart, more important information than the neuroscientist. So this book is actually I can advise it to our viewers and to have a look on such uh, advices to share for the daily activity. Can I have a look, uh, Doctor Amna, yes. about the book, please? Well, this is very nice by Daniel uh, Levitin. Yes. Levitin, yes. The organized mind and thinking straight in the age of information overload. Ho, 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 ho. I agree with this. Information overload. We have a lot of information in our mind. I don't know how much information we can remember, 
but I think this will be overload on our memories. Especially when our daily lives are packed with chaotic things exactly. and endless lists to do lists. Definitely. Well, there are so many commitments, so many things to do. Sometimes some people, I don't want to say names, they go to sleep and their mind is working. Can you believe this? <laughs> well, their mind is working, so they have sometimes miserable or some uh, troubled dreams. We want you to sleep well, our dear viewers. I liked what Dr. Amna just said. The organized mind can beat the smartest mind. Ho, 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 I like this one. We need to be well organized in everything in our life. Thank you very much, Dr. Amna, for bringing this good titled book. Our dear viewers, let us move now to another segment of the show that is the social media. Please stay tuned after the break with the biggest smile and the positive energy. Hello, our dear viewers. The question is, do we have a social account or we don't? The other question is to be or not to be. This is an old question now. Everybody, I think, is having one, two, perhaps three accounts in the social media. This is the need of life. Can we say this is a need of life? But Well, this is what we are going to see. Let us go straight to my monitor and see what we have. Tips to design an interactive uh, mobile website like provide access to the full website. This is mobile essentially. The express version of your website. Well, you, everybody needs a website, a small one. People will naturally scan the mobile version and go directly to the information they want. Scanning now, you know this. Scanning things, you can do a lot of things for all the websites they have. By offering access to the full website, you can get more specific information while you gain more leads and build a larger customer base. Make sure the mobile website is fast. Having a slow website, people will run away. So this is, in fact, 45% of people will leave a website if it takes more than three seconds to load. <laughs> We are living in a fast world. Can you believe it? At three seconds, if the website doesn't download, they just leave it. You lose customers if it is not fast. So the graphics, the design, the language is all. The skeleton of the website is very important. Let us go also to another one. A mobile device, unlike desktop, has less memory and slow data connection. That makes almost everything load slower. It's important to what you can to make your website quicker and on mobile. Well, the mobile version has to be very small and compact. Add a limited amount of images and other elements so that can hinder the speed of the site. More pictures will hinder the speed. Keep in mind anything that takes a lot of time to load on a website version should be avoided. This is very important. Advise regularly analyze your mobile website. Putting a website is the one thing. Developing an application is another thing. Analyzing what goes on is a third thing. Very important. Just because mobile may be a newer business solution does not mean that the new trends are not constantly arising. Just watch for those uh, new uh, measures in the application before going live with your mobile website design. Make sure that to test the functionality and continue to test the mobile website to ensure as the new updates are created, your mobile website is still fully functional. The last slide, check if the website is rendering in the same way as intending. So avoid list testing your mobile site on a desktops or table or tablets. So constant analysis will also help prevent surprises such as a broken links. Oh, oh, this is you don't want to. Missing images or from pages not working well. Our dear 
If you are just let us move now to another part of the show, that is the interview. Please stay tuned after the break with the big smile and the positive energy. Hello, our dear viewers, and welcome again to the Web Collection show that is to the interview segment of the show. We are happy tonight we have here with us in the studio Dr. Hamid Asagir, uh, specialized in the strategic thinking and the planning. I would like to uh, welcome him in behalf of all the viewers watching this show. Dr. Hamid, welcome to our studio here. Most welcome. I would like you to introduce yourself and your experience before we go to the... Well, thank you for the invitation today, tonight, and uh, it's my pleasure to, uh, to introduce uh, the a little bit of uh, about the strategic planning and the software we have today is the most sophisticated uh, software to run the uh, strategic plan. Um, I'm a graduate of the Nottingham University in England uh, um, in, in uh, uh, leadership actually leadership and uh, learning organization uh, the uh, the master degree in, in strategic planning and um, all my career I was doing the uh, uh, you know planning and strategic planning for uh, organizations and uh, and uh, companies so uh, we came to the idea six years ago that uh, uh, we need something to run the strategic plan mm. you know strategic plan is a uh, is a whole papers and uh, and it is, it is piles of papers. So exactly. manually is sort of difficult to to run that uh, strategic plan. So we designed the vision, and we developed it uh, through years, and becomes now um, very sophisticated. We are in the version now of 2.0. Uh, Doctor Hamad, how important do you think for our country is the strategic planning? I think is, is, is this tool actually designed um, to help organizations to execute and monitor their progress once they have the plan. Mm. So without this um, tool, it's very difficult uh, for the uh, uh, people inside the organization actually to, to uh, um, uh, keep up with the performances. Uh, daily performances, uh, weekly, monthly perform performances. So actually, this is a vital uh, tool to run the uh, uh, the strategic plan. It's very, very important. Very good. Uh, I wish the director can show what we have in my monitor first, and then we can go to Dr. Hamid to tell us all about the uh, program they developed for the strategic uh, planning. So let us see what we have, Dr. Uh, Hamid, and then we can come back to my monitor, okay, our director. So what is this uh, vision uh, software, uh, Dr. Uh, vision software, as I said earlier, uh, it, it is a tool designed to uh, actually monitor the progress of the strategic plan, or if the organization uh, has not uh, uh, yet uh, did the organization plan, actually they can do the project, their project. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it has so many features, uh, you know, throughout the years we developed uh, according to the customer's needs. Mm. So we, we can actually explain a little bit about it here. Yes, uh, the first advantage of the, uh, um, this software, as, you, as we see the front page, mm. we, we can see that uh, uh, we can design actually the first page, which is viewed to all users Good. inside the organization the way we like it. So, like here, I'm just I, you know, just designed um, something, you know, to welcome you or something that you know to to do. So, three pages. Yeah. So, so uh, uh, the purpose actually of this page is to convey messages um, uh, from the chairman, from the uh, under secretary, from the manager, you know, to the staff. So weekly, we can change the. Uh, 
um, the page to demonstrate some policies, new policies, announcements, to, uh, announcement, uh, graduations, uh, some uh, uh, marriages, you know, ceremonies, exactly. you know, for uh, staff. So this is actually all the activities. All activities we can we can put in the first page, not a static page, you know. Very good. Uh, a so dynamic it's, one. So it's a dynamic one, and it's in the hand of the organization. They, they can design it the way they like. The administrator can do a lot of things. Uh, exactly. Um, also, actually, we can we can uh, do the um, uh, when we go to the vision, um, um, we, we we can uh, put the um, everything concerning the uh, um, vision, mission, um, values, you know, of the organization, this will be um, available to all organization. Mm. So any staff of the organization, you know, from, from uh, uh, you know, upper management to, to the lower management, they can view, they can know their uh, vision, mission, and uh, etc. cetera. Okay. Now, now this is normal things, of course, but if once we go to the execution of this uh, software, we can program the strategic goals. You know, those Good. who are, uh, no, uh, I mean, they know about the strategic planning. Uh, actually, we, um, um, we need to develop their vision, Good. their mission, and their, their strategic goals. You know, strategic goals are the, those uh, goals, let's say, we need to accomplish in a five years time. So, so, so like here, we can see, you know, these goals actually, and, are and set up. Before. Set up, yeah. But by the way, this is this is uh, bilingual, so so uh, we, we can we can see it. See in Arabic now. We can see you know, the uh, English and, one and, better. And if we yeah, can see the English, I think. Yeah, it will be. and it's, it's, it's English. So when we when we go to SG SG like like strategic planning, mm. um, or strategic goals, we, we can see the strategic goals. Then quickly we can drill down to see the strategic objectives. Good. You know, for those who know about the strategic plan, each strategic goal consists of number of uh, strategic uh, uh, objectives. Good. So we can see here, and then we go to the uh, success factors, which they call it KRIs, and now here what we What is this uh, success factor, Dr. Now, uh, you know, the, uh, um, now we're going deep to the uh, uh, <laughs> nitty-gritty of the strategic yes. planning, but each strategic objectives, we need to identify certain um, keys or success keys exactly. that we make sure that the strategic objective, this strategic objective is, is accomplished mm. successfully. So we cannot put everything. So we need to select some factors. We need to put them in the software that those factors when we accomplish them, we can make sure that the strategic objective is accomplished. Has been accomplished. And then, once this is accomplished, of course, the strategic goal is accomplished. Exactly. But this is not, not, not all the, the story, you mm. know. We have to go down to how we go by daily work, how we go by weekly work and, and monthly work. So we have to go from here, you know, mm -hmm. to a, a, a different. Th this is actually I'm I'm logging in like a, a CEO or under secretary now. Good. But I have to log out now, and to log in like um, um, a manager, mm -hmm. so he can see uh, his staff. So so here uh, uh, actually we can see. Um, uh, a lot of things, or let me show you some of the... Uh, this is the higher management. Th this is higher management. He can see, actually, once he click here, all personnel, they've been in the system. Mm. We can display them. Very nice. Um, what uh, is this, the flow chart? So this is this is an, the, the organization chart. Organizational chart, yes. Uh, this chart, this is actually... The, the way we, we um, you know, put the um, uh, personnel, their pictures, names, and, and all information associated with the person, so it can be dis demonstrated here in a hierarchy system. Very nice. So we, we can actually know this guy belong to who and this belong to who. So you can so drill down to each. Uh, to, to each one. Yes. So So actually this is this is a nice feature. So we, uh, we, we really can track, we know our staff, we can send them email, huh? we can communicate with them, we can task them. So the authorities of each, uh, if we go back, doctor, uh, to the uh, this uh, ah. model, yes, uh, the organizational chart, I think. So in, each, in this, uh, you can tell that if this one, who is reporting to whom? Yes. And who is responsible for Ex Exactly. Whom? If we uh, minimize this a little bit. Yes. Uh, I think this is very important so that... Uh, yeah. 
Yeah, so, so, so we, know, we know these, these two uh, employees belong to this uh, um, uh, head um, oh, chief yeah. and this to this manager and this manager to this undersecretary yeah. or um, CEO. And the, the communication company. means is all electronically by through the system. Yeah, we have two means actually or three means of communications. Uh, when, uh, we can, uh, actually, he can see when he press this manager, managers or manager, he can see the staff belong to him. Mm. See, and when we go to the manager and he press here, like he written here in a state of manager, um, um, uh, uh, their um, uh, chief heads, you know, he can see the chief heads. The chief head can see the employees. So once he got here, he can, he can send an email. And? He can see the job description. He can see the CV. So I think this is very interesting, Dr. Mohammed, because we have to carry on, I think, in another one part of this. Uh, I think we leave it for the second uh, part, uh, Dr. Ahmed. Thank you very much for being okay. with us tonight, All right. for uh, presenting this uh, vision. I think this software is very interesting. It is uh, very important for all organizations to have such uh, software. Pleasure. Our dear, thank you very much, Dr. Pleasure, Ahmed. pleasure. Uh, our dear viewers, we will carry on and the second part of the interview, hopefully for uh, next week. Please stay tuned after the break with the biggest smile and the positive energy. Hello, our dear viewers, and welcome again to the Web Collection Show. Let us go straight to the innovation part of the show, as usual, with Farah. Farah, the floor is yours. Yes. Tonight, I'll be talking about the latest innovative ideas regarding your sleep. There are a lot of applications yes. and different things you'd be able to wear or put next to you, gadgets, at your bedroom, and you'd be able to track your sleep. Ah, very yes. nice. Very because nice. sometimes we have trouble like sleeping because there are different levels of sleeping yes. there is deep sleep and light sleep yes. and we always try to go and get the deep sleep but sometimes we never do like we sleep for hours but it's just light i will tell you one thing deep. i will tell you one yes. thing tell me dr amne yes you tell us also if somebody doesn't sleep well at night in every one hour and a half or two hour one hour he gets up what does that mean well, it does mean a lot of uh, factors, causes uh, yeah. or factors, we can say. Uh, first of all, we can think broadly. He might have stress. Yes. Uh, probably he's disorganized uh, during his usual daily habit. Uh, he might take some drugs. He might be taking some drugs mm. that can uh, doesn't allow him to sleep well, very well. Mm. Uh, he might have some type of diseases that might not allow him to sleep uh, comfortably, such mm. as we can call sleep apnea or difficulty breathing. I have many patients who have difficulty uh, breathing, especially more at night, mm. and they can't sleep properly at night. Mm. So there are many factors. These are the most common. Uh, I, think, I think we need to have some sort of one of those uh, days, yes. a presentation. How what are the causes? Because this Farah uh, brought very important subject. Yes, yes of um, course. Uh, there's many reasons, and the thing is, if you lack proper sleep, it would affect your work, the the performance you're going to the have. The whole day will be throughout the day. Yes, your performance definitely. Because this is but today, important. thank God, we've got great applications and great gadgets that we'd be able to use, and everyone could use them in order to track their sleep and sleep better. So the first one I have is called Lark in the Dark, as you can see here. It's a wristband you'd be able to wear. And this wristband would be able to wake you up gently with gentle vibrations without any sort of um, sound. And it tracks your sleep as well. Because a lot of people want to know exactly how long they'd be able to sleep and if they're able to go into deep sleep or not. And the best thing is, that your alarm would be just a gentle vibration and, and it would be able to know if you're up or not. Look in the dark. Look Lark the in the dark. Oh. Yes. The second one is Sleeping Like a Genius, which is Sleep Genius app. This is one of the greatest apps because mm. it helps you with the noise. Mm. It has pink noise. It's similar to the white noise, but it's a softer version. 
and it has low frequency such as music and the type of beats that are very soothing mm. and it would be able to help you to go to sleep mm. and you'd be able to sleep like a baby as they could <laughs> they, they wow. as, a genius, say. as a genius or as a kid as a genius as a kid oh, same, yeah, thing. Yeah, it's the same thing wow. yeah, yeah. I would love to have some. Yes, mm. here is fight noise with the noise itself. It's basically a production of white noise, an app you'd be able to have, that has to like extract all the other noise you'd be able to have in your background. For instance, like your neighbors are making some noise outside or someone outside your, do your room one of your family members is making some sort of noise, they're watching TV, and you have to sleep early for school or work. So you'd be able, the white noise would be able to eliminate all the background noise and the surrounding noise that you have and would make, surely make you sleep immediately. That was for number three. The fourth one is tracking your every move is a jawbone up UP wrist, uh, wristband Again, this wristband is very great because it would be able to track all your sleep. It would be able to monitor your sleep cycle going through the tracking of deep to light sleep and how many times you actually wake up. Sometimes we wake up in the middle of the night but we're not quite sure that we're up or not mm. because sometimes you just open your eyes and then you're back to sleep immediately. Yes. But that just set a split second actually affects your sleep because it, it actually cuts the deep sleep exactly. system and it also colorates with your sleep and what you ate that day and exercise so if you exercised a lot and ate proper food your sleep would be better and vice versa as to how that is and the new application <coughs> of that is the up is basically it controls and sees the type and amount of caffeine you have in your system mm. and how it affects your sleep. This is called UP Coffee App. It basically tracks the caffeine intake in order to demonstrate the impact of caffeine on your sleep. Mm. So many things. Yes, and this is one of the best and the final one for tonight is Calm Aura. This, what as you it? could see, this is Cal the gadget. Calm yeah. Aura. Yes. You could see that it's an actual, like, small stand you could put next to your sleep, uh, next to your bed, and it gives out different lighting. All those different lighting is actually lightings that would help you to sleep, and at the same time, it even secretes certain smells that also help you to sleep. Mm. And the type of music, the white noise that you'd be able to hear, it, it's just automatically, as soon as it's open, you'd go to sleep because it tries to create the best atmosphere you have and mm. surrounding mm. in order for you to sleep immediately. So now no one has to worry about not sleeping properly yeah. because they could use one of those gadgets and truly they'd be able to sleep properly. Well, I think this is very interesting. Sleep well, our dear viewers, not to worry about anything. Don't go and think hard before you go to sleep because sometimes you go to bed and your brain is working very hard as usual it will not let you sleep so just calm down think about the nice things the nice memories well uh, farah said nice smells of perfumes or something like this i think this might also affect uh, the person and the uh, sleep the way he sleeps at night thank you very much farah you're welcome and i would like to request dr amna in the future to prepare one of those presentations. Most welcome, of course. Yes, yes. Very because we need the reasoning <laughs> behind yes. it. Yes. Actually, yes. briefly, I think sleep have different stages. Mm. Uh, scientifically, we have the rapid eye movement stage and mm. the non-rapid eye movement stage. So probably, I think this development of such um, thing is why we relate to such a cycle. Mm. So in the future, inshallah, we'll be discussing such issues. And even details. the timings. Yes, Sometimes yes. The young children have different timings to sleep, True. teenagers and even adults. True. Different and ages have different... Mm. Like and I thing. think sleeping at night is much better than sleeping. Some people are just... Uh, yes, up. yes, of course. Uh, the usual habit of the body, just to rest and to make the metabolism as normal as possible is to sleep at night. Mm. When, the, when the person tries to sleep uh, the morning and to wake up at night, 
this will make the metabolism by itself disturbance. Mm. It will not work as efficient as the daily, like normal person. That's why you can notice that many people who are not sleeping at night, for example, who having exams, for example, mm. at the time of exam, they don't sleep. And then at the early morning, they get exhausted mm. exactly. because the metabolism have been affected and mm. the usual daily uh, like requirement of the body have been affected. That might lead to different mm. uh, like changes in the body. So probably the, the body needs to sleep at night with the usual uh, like hours, efficient hours for every age. The, like um, the early stages of life, the children sleep more than the adult. And then the, the number of hours will decrease until the late of ages of people or the adult ones or like um, elderly people, they sleep more. Mm. So there are extremes of ages mm. and in the middle there are the younger people. So probably sleep have many uh, like theoretical um, principles. Uh, it might be affected by different factors. And uh, of course, they are st the studies are going more and more to have any changes that might help the people to sleep efficiently. Thank you very much, Dr. Ramna. I think this is beneficial for those people who don't sleep well at night. Please stay tuned after the break for the next segment of the show. That is the health and wellness with the biggest smile and the <laughs> positive energy. Hello our dear viewers, we hope after viewing our show you can sleep very well because you have been watching the web collection show. Let us go now to the health and wellness as usual with Dr. Amna. Dr. Amna, the floor is yours. Thank you again for having such opportunity to have our time with our viewers. So welcome summer, welcome again to the vacation time, welcome to the changing in weather, welcome hot weather as mm. we can say. Mm. So many people are going to, uh, to the sea, they are enjoying their time, but unfortunately, they might not take care of their health during such uh, high temperature weather. Mm. So today, I'll be discussing some issue related to our change in, in weather, especially in our area. Uh, well, actually in Middle East and Kuwait probably have high temperature, especially at the peak time, which is 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Uh, this might affect people uh, normally. It might lead to what is called as heat stroke. So people might think that stroke can be only in the body for special type of heart attack or heart stroke or even brain stroke, but they don't know that there is something what is called as um, heat stroke or exhaustion. So I'll go directly to my screen. As you can see here, a discussion briefly will be about definitions, the signs and symptoms, who are at risk, how can prevent, and the first aid that can be done to prevent such um, type of heat stroke. Mm. So how can we define such case? Heat stroke can occur when the body temperature rises above 37 degrees, which is the normal te body temperature. Mm. It can be caused by excessive or prolonged exposure to heat. So any person who is staying long time uh, at work, for example, as we can see in the daily activities, those um, which can be noticed by my, um, uh, like the ice creams who are selling, um, especially at the... Uh, Even the cleaners on the street, yes, sometimes the street. they need to be there all the time when it's really hot. Yes, so they might manifest, as you can see here in this photo, uh, with reduced fluid uh, intake high heat exposure and high activity, and at the same time they might lead to having some headaches, fatigue, weakness at the beginning. Mm. Blood pressure will be raised at the beginning, and then this might lead to heat, what is called as heat ex exhausted. Mm. People might be exhausted. But by, by time, which is more uh, severe, it might lead to heat stroke. In such way, the person might be uh, confused uh, with the uh, increased sweating, uh, edema might be uh, noticed in this uh, person, uh, decreased or low blood pressure might be noticed, and it might need an urgent um, medical treatment. Hot. So, hot, this is the hot sun. Yes. 
So probably who are at risk of such situation? Many people can stay at 2 p.m. without having any set, any exhaustion or stroke. So uh, children, athletes, outdoor workers, as we said, the cleaners, the workers, those who are exposed to high temperature are at really risk of having heat stroke. Especially when the temperatures go way above 45 degrees. Yes, of even course. Even sometimes reaching 50, 55 as well. Yes, especially, which as I said, it's not in our area. Mm. So why it is important to mention about heat exhaustion and heat stroke? Heat exhaustion with my immune manifest, as we said, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, and weakness. And then progressively it might lead to stroke, as you can see here in the screen, with high body temperature, absent sweating, hot red or flesh uh, dry skins, and by time it might lead, unfortunately, sadly saying is death because mm. of lack of breathing, no heart rate, silence, rigor, and um, no nothing to be uh, rehydrated by for such person. So it is important really to be careful about uh, not to be exposed to high temperature. So what is the preventive method to reduce or to prevent of having such uh, manifestation? First of all, the first prevention is to limit outdoor time. It's better to limit out, like especially so at going the peak, out, you mean? Yes, especially at the peak times. Mm. The high temperature will be reaching the, the highest level at 2 to 3 p.m. Mm. The second preventive method is to wear light protection, especially at the summer time. Mm. Our third protection, uh, prevention is to drink more water and to have uh, good hydration, especially at such weather. Um, the fourth preventive method is to avoid direct exposure to the sun. Mm. Or even who, people who are, um, like they have to be exposed to the sun, they have to use uh, protective creams, for example, any protective method, some hats, some wearing that they can uh, be preventive. The fifth preventive method is to avoid staying in closed car. So we had actually many cases coming mm -hmm. to our casualty where children are kept in the car in the high temperature times. And then at the same time, they kept some medication in the car, some, uh, you can say, gases, or like or some mm -hmm. method that can affect the breathing method. And then those children, unfortunately, they need to be uh, coming to the casualty to get treated. Unfortunately, due to heat stroke or heat exhaustion. Mm. And when they're in the car, this is without the AC, yes? So yes, it is closed mm. without any window, mm. nothing is there, mm. so no breathing. That mm. probably the patient might be affected mm. at the same Sometimes time. Sometimes even the AC, doctor, um, when they open the AC, they say, yes. they can smell, I don't know, some sort of uh, smell. Toxic. Uh, yes, toxic uh, gases, and then this might also affect them. Well, actually, I didn't go through any research regarding such, but generally speaking, yeah. some type of cars might have. Some of the cars, no, they have preventive mm. method and um, some uh, like protection and such, or high safety method. Mm. So when the heat stroke occurs, now I have a patient at the time being, I don't, I'm not uh, uh, near any hospital or health center. What can be done for such patient? First of all, we have to take such patient to uh, like, uh, an area without a sun exposure, uh, under the like uh, trees, under uh, something to be covered. And then at the same time, we have to elevate his legs. Mm. We can put an ice pack, and then we can give him more water to be drink. As mm. you can see here, uh, we can, uh, the, the, the way of lying such patient, we elevate the leg, have a fan or lower temperature, apply cold compress and give fluid, as I said, and to have him lying in down. So it's important to do such before calling any ambulance or even before calling any doctor to see such patient. So, so keep healthy, prevent heat exhaustion or heat stroke, and uh, be protected during summertime. You see, Dr. Amna, thank you very much for this subject. I would like to do one thing. You see, in the t rare times when I walk, I put a special hat. Yes. But don't you think the color of the hat what I wear can attract the sun beam and then it makes me hot and sweating. For example, if I make a dark hat. Of course, that's why um, according to uh, scientific research activities, we can say that the colors in the summertime are different than the winter time. Exactly. Mm. In the summer, we prefer the light colors, the fresh ones. Uh, we prefer the, the white color, like for example, uh, the green, the yellow, the um, orange per se. In winter we have darker colors. 
it is uh, known that the darker colors will absorb uh, the ultraviolet uh, light, or we can say the sun rays, mm. more than the light color would can reflect the uh, sun rays to the other side. So it is better actually to wear light colors in uh, summertime. Yes, and especially for those that wear hijab and the headscarf, basically, if they wear black, it's very, very bad in the summer because it would yes. attract all the heat onto their head, and yes. that's where the heat is actually excreted out of our heads. So mm, it's true. better to have either white or like off-white, like all the light colors, but yes. just avoid black. I think this can affect also the skin sometimes because some people right. can over suffer. Anyway, our dear viewers, let us move to the next uh, segment of the show. That is the e government. Please stay tuned after the break with a big smile and the positive energy. Hello, our dear viewers, and welcome again to the last segment of the show for tonight. That is the e-government. Let us uh, travel and go to Estonia. Let us see what I have on my uh, monitor. So the e-government in that country is very interesting one, quite honestly, after seeing what it has. The digital society, of course, they have the main thing is this decentralization. There is no central database and very uh, every stakeholder, be it a government department, a ministry or a business, gets to the choose its own system in its own time. Interconnectivity, all those elements in the system have the to be able to work together smoothly. Open platform, any institution can use the public key infrastructure, open ended the process as a continuous project to keep growing and improving organically this is very interesting infrastructure the two key ingredients in the infrastructure are the x road and the a identity or aid the x road is a critical tool that connects all the decentralized components of the system uh, together it is the environment that allows the nation's various databases and registers both in the public and the private uh, sector EID is the national standardized system for verifying a person's identity in an online environment. It is very important. It opens the door to all secure e-services while maintaining the highest level of security and it trusts. Other systems have since been linked thanks to those, of course, systems. So the license belongs to the taxpayer there, of course, and the, the solutions are created to, by private companies that was the cost was reduced. The government transparency and efficiency at all levels of government have been boosted by advanced e-services. Business, business has been made easy by fast interaction, lower bureaucracy and access to critical information. Citizen integrated e-solutions have created an effective convenient interface between citizens and government agencies healthcare doctors patients hospitals and government are all benefiting from the convenience access and savings that e-services have brought more about it education e-schools has also revolutionized the system students teachers and parents interact creating a generation that is both better educated and tech savvy let us go to the last uh, slide public safety estonia is safer thanks to the system that gives law enforcement officers the tools they need to do their jobs more efficiently and of course this is the most important thing our dear viewers we have come to the end of in this show i would like to thank everybody for uh, following and watching this show also i would like to thank my colleagues here in the studio i would like to thank farah thank you farah You're for welcome. bringing all the good information also i would like to thank dr amna for bringing all the good information thank Most you very welcome. Much. and i would like to thank everybody here in the studio in the studio in the studio and in the control room until we see you next week good night and <laughs>